And good evening, Rav. Good afternoon, Adam. How are you? Doing pretty well, thanks. And uh, hello, <clears throat> hello to everyone out there watching on the video scope. <laughs> yeah, I think it's getting colder in your part of the world. Yeah, hating it. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> So Even, eventually uh, you'll probably see me in a massive like dressing gown or something <laughs> with hot chocolate or something Although i'm yeah. still drinking my water and coffee but it'll eventually become hot chocolate i'm sure yes uh, here right now uh, the it's, opposite. It's, it's it's getting whole, cold at nights but in mm. the afternoon it's very sunny it's sunny and warm yeah, <laughs> I'm very envious. So, come, come here to the Philippines. <laughs> I'm, I've been there before. I enjoyed my time, and if we get uh, our film productions underway, I'll happily come over and, and yes. uh, write the scripts. Uh, fingers crossed, we're gonna yeah. uh, produce that film. Mm. Oh yeah, getting, getting some good news on it. So uh, uh, fingers crossed, definitely. <laughs> hope this 2021 will be good to us it's mm. uh, less than less than a month and we're going going to have a new year already so and then this um <laughs> this mid this misstep into the new decade will be forgotten about we can start the decade properly with 2021 yes uh, 2020 was like a, like that <laughs> it was a hangover yeah <laughs> it's basically the equivalent of throwing up after um a night out or something it's yeah. a horrible start to the day <laughs> so, yeah how's your uh, week been uh do, doing good and uh yes i was helping also i like to promote to everyone watching uh my my other film the uh, suarez uh, where i also help on that uh, part of the crew suarez the healing priest it's uh, uh it's part of the metro manila film fest on um December 25. So it's going to be the first time that uh, the Film Fest is uh, going virtually, streaming, not in, because before we had, before it's uh, it live, was, attendance. Uh, live attendance and it, uh, ticket cost uh, matters also. So mm. uh, this is the first time they change it to to virtual since because of the pandemic yeah. and all the cinemas are still closed. So yeah, please do watch uh, Suarez, uh, the Healing Priest. It's available online via Upstream. That uh, yes, Upstream.com. So you can rent it. Uh, that's uh, how they will compute the ticket cost. Yeah. Well, congratulations from for getting it into the festival. Thank Fingers you. Fingers crossed you. that it will mm. get even further. <laughs> and also this afternoon. Uh, yes. Oh, yesterday. Uh, our friend Donny uh, also uh, uh, launched Nena, Nena, the sh his, his short film Nena uh, online. So, uh, Donny, if you're watching, uh, congratulations. So, I also work on that as a producer. In, in, and I, Nena. I watched it uh, this morning. In fact, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, good job uh, for both of you. Oh, thank you. Adam. <laughs> thank you. You enjoyed it. Uh, did you, what you call this? Uh, did you understand everything that happened, even though it's in Tagalog? Oh yeah, I mean the subtitles helped. <laughs> so yeah, I was able to follow the story. Yeah, it was yeah, and uh, very um, unpleasant topic to watch. And uh, yes, certain scenes uh, won't go yeah. into details. Uh, yes, for people to watch, you know. <laughs> yes, we can uh, we can provide the link for it. But um, yeah. yeah, it's very unpleasant topic. But um, well, it's uh, I I enjoyed it for the resolve how it was resolved <laughs> yes we need to share it to the whole world that's yeah these things happen in mm. in our country and people also that's it that one those things you say yeah. there <laughs> so yeah please please uh look for nena and in, in uh facebook it's already uh, up there in facebook you need just you just need to to... It's, it's in the Facebook group, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if it's yeah. it's not fully public yet. No, not I'm fully right public. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm reluctant to reveal too much details, like the subject, the uh, mm. or the synopsis. Yeah. You just need to join that group so that you can watch it. So yes, yeah. And we could always provide a link um, 
in the description or something. Yes, we will. Or even we will be next week or something. Yes, we, we weren't prepared to actually. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> otherwise, we could have um, we could have got the link to show yeah. online or whatever. But oh well, we'll do yeah. it next next week. So, so how about you, Adam? How how have you been? How's your week? Well, I can't film my legs anymore because the gym's <laughs> reopened. So I yes. I started going back uh, yes. yesterday, yes. and I was there this morning, and so my legs really ache because obviously oh. we've had. They've been closed for about a month, so. Mm. Oh, so and, the uh, lockdown was lifted already. Your, yeah, it's lockdown. it's opened up again. It's it's still not one hundred percent back to normal, obviously. Mm. But I don't know. I I just say the places I need to go to are they open? Yes, good. I'll go if they're not open. Then I just stay here. <laughs> I just don't okay. leave. But um, so far, yeah, the gyms have reopened again, but. Nice. who knows for how long <laughs> but no, no, it's crazy and apart from I'll, that um the was you gonna say something sorry no i was asking oh, the, right. the, if infection went down already because i heard that it's gone down up. but yeah it's, oh. it's again it goes like up that. and down and it's, <laughs> yeah. it's hard to keep track of it really to be honest yeah. so, i mean i've not been infected uh, mm. i did have a swab test back in june mm. uh, a voluntary thing uh, you know mm. um because I was on a GP list, the government picked random names on the GP lists and I was one of them. So they sent me um, the stuff, I tested it and I was negative. So very if, good. So I've never had it, at least not yeah. to my knowledge. So yeah, yeah. Um, it's all good. And yes. apart from that, um, the Imagine Impact uh, competition I mentioned a few episodes ago that I sent yes, a yes. thriller script to, although they've not, they've not sent me a message saying that I've been accepted or not because I've still got to wait it's about eight weeks before they tell you so i think i need about two or three weeks left before i find out okay but uh, they've opened up another one which is um they want action comedies so i'm mm. now retooling my action western script to see if i can add some comedy into it i don't want to make it a complete fast but i want to make it like over the top you know sort of you know the old-fashioned like arnold schwarzenegger sylvester stallone you know okay. demolition man or uh, commando those kind of like the tone of that so i want to sort of tweak it to yes. maybe see if i can send it to an action comedy competition but okay. it's only just started really so i've got plenty of time to submit it okay <laughs> so, so good luck to you for that thank you uh, i'm sure uh, I'll, i'm sure i'll keep you up to date on that if i need you to read it or something yeah. uh, <laughs> it's gonna be nice it's an uh, action comedy western type of thing yeah <laughs> i mean it's already over the top anyway because it's gonna it's basically john wick if it was set in the west it's gonna be just over the top people shooting each other and throwing dynamite at each other or whatever it's just gonna be crazy um, but i need just to make it more of a comedy me, yeah it's just appeared to me that the uh, mandalorian is like a western in a way in uh, well, uh, it's in space because their yeah. premise is the same with all the western like mm. shooting guns uh, out, star wars know, outer was, rim yeah yeah i mean star wars was <clears throat> star wars did start off like that was the inspiration for it wasn't it mm. it was like westerns and um uh seven samurai i think yes yeah. yes, yes yeah seven yes. samurai movie yes. so so yeah and speaking I've not of the mandalorian so no comment <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's very good I, li i love it and john fabrio is uh, very good in doing that uh, <laughs> and also speaking of uh mandalorian uh our guest for tonight is uh coming from the house of mouse uh, <laughs> he's a photographer for uh cruise ship uh disney cruise ships so without further ado let's uh uh let's introduce well, him introduce uh sol solomon solomon david david there uh, hi sol good good evening hi everyone <laughs> welcome to the show welcome to the show thanks, how are thanks. you i'm good how are you <laughs> we're doing, doing well fine. thanks yeah <laughs> <laughs> so sol uh how did you uh end up in in the uh, house of the mouse. desert yeah. yes <laughs> well the story is kind of crazy because i never cause before i was just working here in manila i was mm. doing freelance work photography and you know sorts of things in between and then one day i i just got a call from um from someone and i thought it was my dad because there was no number so mm. instantly i knew it's it's an uh 
it's a call from abroad and mm -hmm. when i answered it it's it was a lady and mm -hmm. she knew about me and she quickly asked if i'm interested to work for for cruise ships mm -hmm. and she she mentioned um do you like to work with kids as i said yes and and um during that time i was really i was i i don't really know if i'm just born or burnt from work but i was looking mm -hmm. for something different it was just the perfect timing when when that lady called and um, mm -hmm. apparently that lady's uh, like a director for hiring something like that Whoa. and i said yes and it was really I quick <laughs> yeah it was really quick <laughs> She scheduled me for um, for uh, a personal meeting, so we met mm. in a in a hotel, and mm. then she asked if I have these uh, these documents, this and that, this and that. You have training and stuff. I said, oh, I don't have mm. it, but I, I can I can process it. I think mm. um, I processed everything in a month, and then the mm. next month she gave me a ticket, and then I went to mm. Disney University. Mm. Wow. Wow, <laughs> that's that's very. Cool. It's it's a oh. bit overwhelming for me. So <laughs> she called you randomly. Was it like? Um, did she like look at your portfolio of photography prior to that or something? I no I'm problem. I'm I'm not really sure. But okay. during that time, I've I'm I'm working freelance. So I've been marketing myself a lot. I've been posting yeah. here and there, posting about my work and my page. So maybe they found up. Must have seen some. They've seen my, my page or my, my work somewhere else. Mm. So this is your work before you went to Disney, right? So yeah, you have a lot of uh, very nice portraits and photos. So thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, I think uh, this caught their attention. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to perv too much. <laughs> yes. So before in Disney, you said you were working as a freelance photographer. So yeah, yeah. what else do you were doing? Uh, uh, I, I think you have also had a, a photo booth before, right? Yeah, I have. Uh, I, ha I had a photo booth before. It's uh, something mm -hmm. I do during the weekends because uh, working mm -hmm. freelance and uh, I, I travel a lot. Mm -hmm. So I go to different places. I shoot for clients, whatever they mm -hmm. want. Mm -hmm. um most i mostly do commercial stuff like mm -hmm. products and um corporates okay <laughs> like most of, like most of uh, these uh, pictures you see right now from concerts these are from corporate accounts oh okay so i noticed you... the um like the gundam robots were they were they action figures or something models that you took photos of or were they like computer generated i think quite those are toys them. those are toys, toys right okay yeah Oh, cool. Like this one. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> <laughs> like like so, those behind wrap. The, the only like robot action figures I used to collect were Daleks from Doctor Who. So and I don't have them anymore because I sold yeah. my, my collection a few years oh. ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why there's no shelves or anything behind me. <laughs> yeah. uh, here, here in the collection because we also collect uh gundams both of mm. us are collecting that <laughs> so yeah uh yes, nice then, collection yeah <laughs> so you're very i i saw Saul uh work as a photographer and sometimes uh i saw a lot of models or who are sh very shy to pose don't know what to do but Saul has this ability to bring out Charm them charm them and bring out uh beauty beauty in them so like uh yeah, put them he put it in e so he said uh wow this guy is very good <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh like uh show you like uh some of the models that uh, he sh he shot uh, the yeah some <laughs> sexy models uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh, like this so it, yeah. it, it doesn't look like very it's very good it, the shot was good and it doesn't uh it doesn't look uh what do you call this you're saying they look natural they're not like they look forcing natural. themselves into that position yes yes yeah. yes that's I why I, I also love 
uh, Saul's photos. So I uh, said, we need to guess him. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, so yeah. Oh, Saul. So, yes. <laughs> and uh, I was trying to uh, bring him to be my wedding photographer, but he was busy at the time. So ah. I said, hey, next. <laughs> <laughs> So, so uh, when you were in Disney, what were you, uh, when you started at Disney? Was mm -hmm. it was it hard for you from transitioning from what we're doing here in the Philippines? Then now you're you're in a ship in a, a, a con, confined, confined space, space, not like uh, mm. not like here. You can go around, move around, and uh, you're, Did you get you're seasick. Seasick, yeah, <laughs> like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us tell us about it? Well, working on ship is really different if you've been um, on land most mm. of your life, you know, because mm. like what you've said, it's a it's a really small and tight space. Yes. But then, it's um, something different for me. Something exciting as well. Mm. It's like starting from square one. I started from scratch on Disney, and it's mm. really different. Like you see how I've shot those pictures. In the Philippines, they look really good, but then shooting for this is something different. But I wasn't scared. I'm, I was, uh, I, I've always Challenge. been really excited because you know, challenges it fuels me, and then I know that after I accomplish a task, it's like mm -hmm. leveling up. I learned something from it, so it's yes. really, a really good experience for me. But it's hard because um, yes. working on ship is actually working for. When I used to work a lot before, it's six months straight. So mm. it's every day Monday. Mm. So you and don't have to... you don't have any like uh, what they call this uh, off days. No. Well, if you 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 get offs too, but that's mm. like a that's like a uh, an incentive or uh, what they call this like a recognition for doing something really good. Mm, okay. Right. Mm, which which we can talk about later when we go progress to you know my managerial stuff. Yeah. So so yeah. We, we, <laughs> now I'm going to show you as the new hire, and then in there you still have a hair. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> you still have a hair in this. So yeah. Yeah. Well, how how was the experience? For, uh, what's Disney University? Um. It's a facility inside Walt Disney World, and you have mm -hmm. to go through it first because you have mm -hmm. to get oriented. Because mm -hmm. um, Disney, it's mostly about the culture, the traditions, and stuff. That's actually why they call the program traditions. You go under Disney traditions. So mm -hmm. after you go through Disney traditions, mm -hmm. that's when you go to the ship because that's when they see you fit to, you know, to get mm -hmm. interactions with people. Mm, so how how long was it uh, being? It's like in, a week. Uh, oh, it's just a week. I thought it's gonna be months. <laughs> no, no, no. So yeah, I. It's saw... a week. Uh, you go there every day. You study a lot, and then um, you have to try and memorize as much characters as you can. Did you get photos with every single princess? Because I've seen at least three now. <laughs> <laughs> we have a collection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, it's very, very, what do you call this? Interesting, you know, <laughs> working in a Disney. A lot of a lot of people dreams to work in Disney. <laughs> yeah. Was it, was it for you? I Was you a fan of Disney before you joined them? Um, Not really, but I've, I've, you know, ever since I was young, we've been watching Disney a lot. Yeah. Because it's quite, it's quite popular here. Like it started with Fantasia. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pinocchio. <laughs> Pinocchio. <laughs> Have then, you bumped? Yeah. The list goes yeah. from there. <laughs> Have you bumped into some celebrities when you were in? Because in, I know some celebrities will go in a cruise. Have you bumped into them? No. Yeah, I've, I've seen them. I, I know them by their face, but I'm not really, uh, I'm not really good with names. I think the only guy I, re I can remember, 
by the name is uh, Michael V. Because he oh, always Michael goes v. there. Yeah, oh, he's really? always cruising. Yeah. Yeah, he's Michael a BBC v. member. Um, Michael V. Adam is, uh, is uh, one of the popular uh, celebrities so, here in the Philippines. In the Philippines, yes. I was going to say, uh, yeah. I'm not familiar with the name, I'm afraid. <laughs> He's very good in uh, uh, impersonating a lot of people. <laughs> He's like a Has really he... popular com- comedian. Oh, comedian. Right. Yeah, yes. Has he yeah. been in any of the comic book movies? Because I don't know if you know Solomon, but I've, I've seen quite a few of the the Dana and Captain Barbell films and things like that. So yeah. if he's been in any of them, I must have seen him in one of those films. But <laughs> I think not. He was okay. not uh, part of any Dana or because he has his own brand. Yeah, they yeah. own show. Huh? Yeah, own show. So yeah, that's why mm-hmm. he's very yeah. popular in that part. But and that doesn't he's... stop. Uh, that doesn't stop uh, in the West how we sometimes do stunt casting and have you know comedians or whatever playing. Uh, Yes, <laughs> villains that's, or whatever. I mean, that's yeah. what the Adam West Batman series was known for doing. Yeah, that's good about the West. Is they uh, you're not uh, the stereotype in one genre, but mm. here, if you are a comedian, you're a comedian. If you are an action star, you're an action star. <laughs> so, I personally yeah. think it's better to stay that way because it's very rare that mm. someone can transition quite well to a different style. It mm. it can work, but it's in my opinion, if if you get someone that's known for comedy is suddenly playing a, you know, a, a psychopath or whatever, it's <laughs> unless they're a really good actor, then otherwise it's a bit yeah, not too yeah, sure yeah. about that. But in my yeah. opinion, <laughs> I've, I've seen Keeping some. It, it felt it felt weird. <laughs> this guy doing. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of strange seeing him at first. Yeah, and also he's a comic book addict. Also, that guy he has a YouTube channel and he always. Uh, uh, has unboxings and he has right. statues, statues of. Yeah, he's got lots of toys too. Yeah, lots nah. of toys. <laughs> More than this, like, all, yeah, a, a, a room full of toys. So yeah, a room full. So, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so it's like uh, I'm just uh, dripping my saliva, looking you, at you, drooling, that, yeah, drooling all the <laughs> that. Wow, <laughs> yeah. How about Hollywood celebrities? Sorry, have you seen? In, in, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen. I've seen this guy who's um who played as the crazy guy in um, Armageddon. Armageddon. The guy with the oh. strange eye. I Steve, forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Steve, Steve, Steve Buscemi. Buscemi, yeah. Was Buscemi, he a yeah. in that? I've not seen yeah, it for yeah. a long time. I can't. It was. I can't remember. In Armageddon. Oh, so you've seen he, Steve he Buscemi? Crazy. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, was he friendly to you, or are you allowed to interact with them, or no? Yeah, they 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 speak to us because oh. um the photography the photography department is uh, part of the front stage, mm. so oh, we get interactions a lot because we're always with the guests and we're always in, in the guest areas. Mm. So, as a passenger, when I go up in the ship. You'll take a photo of us already, all of us, or do we do we need to to ask uh, to permission to, permission to uh, hey I want to take a photo of my uh, of my family is it like that or is it mandatory once you go up you like I saw a lot of uh, in Disney parks that there's yeah. a part there that uh, if once you go through you need to take a photo it's a mandatory to take a photo then the security you, pictures. Not the security pictures. Uh, <laughs> because that one's mandatory. <laughs> security picture. I, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> no, no, no. Like the when you're going through the character oh, pictures. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's mandatory to take picture. <laughs> and if you like, if you like, because uh, I have a photo with Donald Duck with Lucas and my wife. We uh, uh-huh. were have a Donald Duck photo, and it's mandatory to have a picture. And then we'll ask your cell phone to take a picture. Is it the same in 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 the cruise ship? Well, it's a it's a bit different because on the parks you use the um, the photo pass, mm-hmm. right? So you, yes. you just buy it and then you go you go it, uh, everywhere. On the ship, mm-hmm. you have two options. It's either you pre-book your packages, or you mm-hmm. buy the packages after looking at your pictures. Oh, so okay. when you get when you get on um, when you get on the terminal, they will start. Mm-hmm. I will have us 
photographers there taking pictures from the terminal. Mm-hmm. That's the very first moment you will be um, having interactions with the characters. And then after that one will be your security pictures and stuff. And mm-hmm. for me, um, like from a business perspective and for mm-hmm. operational purposes as well, I would like mm-hmm. uh, I would like each and every individual to have their embarkation pictures because that one is mm-hmm. uh, really selling. It's like a cash cow. Another good okay. thing for having your photos taken during embarkation mm-hmm. is that those pictures um, are what we use for photo recognition. That is know. where we match your security pictures. Oh, oh! In in cruise ship, you have a security photos also. Yeah, you'll have a you you will you will need another set of security pictures that we match on the embarkation picture. Oh, okay. So, how, how many days is a cruise like? If you are going for a cruise, how many, how many days for for me? If I am gonna avail a, a cruise with my family, you're gonna book. Many, yeah, book. Her. So how many days is that you're gonna take? It's one week or two weeks or. Okay. Well, we have lots of options. If you go to uh, Disney Cruise Lines page, you will have a, uh, you have, you have different ranges from three days to seven days to thirteen days. That oh. one including the transatlantic crossing. Oh okay. But most of the time, the most popular ones, I think, is um, Christmas cruises, which is like five days, which we call maritime cruises. Maritime and cruises. the other one would be the, the three-day cruises, really popular for beginners. Mm-hmm. So where does it because go it's, to? Because it's really short and it's really packed. That's where, oh. that's where you want to go if you're, you have uh, no idea about cruising. It's, like, no. it's just perfect for you to give a right gist or right feel. Mm-hmm. What oh, cruising okay. is about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like if you just want to experience it, it's like dipping your toe in, in a tub of water to see if it's yeah. not a pool. <laughs> no. yeah. So yeah, uh, how many years have you been in being a photographer in, in Disney? It's all. Um, seven. Seven years. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> wow, that's two. That's seven already? Wait. Yeah, I yeah. didn't even realize <laughs> it's, it's been that quick. Yeah, I feel it's just because we were it's shooting like a lot four, of models. Three or yeah. four years. Because <laughs> uh, I remember when I when I left for San Francisco, you were still here uh, doing photo shoots here in the Philippines, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh. If that's around 2013. <laughs> Yeah, around 2030. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's long. So so now are you? Uh, so you've been seven years. So now you're. Are you? Are you? Uh, heading a team already? Yeah, you... I've. Um, I worked there as a photographer for like three and a half, or no, four and a half years. Because there's mm-hmm. uh, like different positions within the team. So you start as a new hire, and then you become a photographer one, photographer two, three, mm-hmm. and then you start um, training for managerial positions. So mm-hmm. that's that's a good promotion every year. Okay. And then so after the fourth year, year, after. So so you go up yeah, it's every. It's a year. really good. Yeah, it's a really good goal. Mm, very nice. It's if you if it's like that that you are promoted every year. I, I like that. I wanna I wanna try that because <laughs> it's very hard. Like uh, some companies don't actually uh, do that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, uh, so now you're are you a manager now or a leader, a team leader? Or what? I am currently the. Um... Photo lab manager. I handle production. Photo lab manager or production manager? Production manager. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, this is uh, this is your team. It's correct. Yeah. And, uh, you have a lot. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the, the past couple of years, I've been handling the two biggest ones. The fantasy two and biggest. the dream. So, those yeah. the biggest ships in the split? Yeah, for Disney. Oh, wow. <laughs> a lot of responsibility then. Yeah, <laughs> must, must have been yeah, stressful. Yeah, is, yeah. is it stressful? <laughs> explains explains the hair loss. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So, even Santa Claus is your <laughs> guest of honor or something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he visit from time to time. So how well, many? Once a year. <laughs> once a year. <laughs> or, he, or, he, or he comes during like July or something for his <laughs> summer vacation. Yeah. Summer vacation. <laughs> for his uh, me time. Me time. Yeah. <laughs> so how many photographers do you handle? Uh, on on a big ship, we have 16 photographers. On a small one, wow. we have eight. Wow, 16 wow. photographers. <laughs> yeah, because it's a really big ship. Mm-hmm. And yet, wow. you, you need to have you know you need to have teams of like two two smaller teams around the okay. ship in different locations to cover all the guests. Wow. Even with that one being said, people are still <laughs> looking for more photographers. Really? <laughs> Which we cannot have. <laughs> yeah. Is it hard to be a photographer in the in in the sh- ship because it's it's still uh, why why you're, you're in the, the ship is moving so every mm. now and then it's gonna be like bumpy or or you hit an ship. iceberg oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well these these ships are really advanced in technology mm-hmm. i i think i can only remember a couple of times where i felt it move like abruptly like it really shook oh, but really? aside from that no. oh I really, I really need to try. I really want to try it <laughs> to have it. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, what what else can you share about the life in a cruise ship? So, uh, life in the cruise ship is different. It's exciting. It's mm-hmm. um, you get to meet a lot of different people from different culture. Mm-hmm. Disney is uh, the biggest entertainment company, and it. it entertains a lot of people from different parts of the world that's why they are hiring people from different parts of the world too so they're just like in in my team you will get to meet people from like three or four different countries i have photographers from uh especially from here from the philippines argentina Mm -hmm. we have people from um from india Mm -hmm. ecuador lots of south americans we have people from canada as well and europeans Okay. So what? Go 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 ahead. No, I was going to say. I mean, I notice a lot of these pictures. The cruisers are focusing mainly on, you know, traditional Disney characters, Mickey, Minnie, etc. But obviously, Disney have been absorbing so many different properties, whether it's Marvel or um, Star Wars, and recently with um, 20th Century Fox's material like Predator and Aliens. Are there any? plans or are there any cruises at the minute that focus on the other properties is there a star wars cruise or is there plans to do an alien cruise because <laughs> i'd love to go to that one <laughs> that would be really cool <laughs> yeah cur- currently we have the star wars cruise that's happening on the um, disney fantasy mm-hmm. and um right. the other one will be the marvel cruise which Ooh. happens on the disney magic oh yeah. mm-hmm. other characters so n- non-traditional characters would be like people from Pirates of Caribbean, one of Disney's biggest uh, like oh, yeah. biggest fr- franchises. We do that every cruise for a whole day. We call it the Pirate Night. A Pirate Night, oh. this one. <laughs> like that one. Oh, I know you people... just said... Um... Sorry, I'll let you finish. Sure. Oh, Wait, okay. What was it? I'll go first. Then. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. It was... I-, I noticed when you were talking about that Star Wars was on the fantasy cruise, you said. Right. And that Marvel was on the Magic Cruise. I would have. Th- mm-hmm. I'm surprised they didn't have it the other way around because, with the exception of Doctor Strange, Marvel doesn't really have magic, and Star Wars is mostly about the Force, which you could say is magic. So you would have <laughs> thought you have it the other way around. I <laughs> know yeah. oh, those are those are the names of the ship. Yeah, but still, you would have thought put all the <laughs> superhero <laughs> stuff on the fantasy ship and all the Star Wars stuff in the Magic ship. But all right, right. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Give me a job, Disney. I'll correct your errors. <laughs> so, yeah, how many ships have you been to, uh, Sol? Uh, currently, we have four ships. But uh, have you been to those four ships already? Or because uh, I know uh, I'm, I'm still I'm still missing the Wonder. This we have the Wonder, the Magic, the Dream, and the Fantasy. I've never been to the Wonder yet. Mm. 
what's the latest ship is the... um the latest one we uh we have is uh which will be launch launching in 2022 that will be disney wish disney which wish. will be as big as the biggest uh biggest one we have right now mm -hmm. but with a totally different design the biggest is what's the name of the biggest uh, uh the fantasy the fantasy oh that is where the marvel is right uh, Star Wars Cruise. A uh, Star Wars Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try it. I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> let's try that Star Wars Cruise. I'm, uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan. So, yeah, especially now with the Mandalorian uh, doing a great job in uh, fixing the Star Wars franchise. <laughs> I'm personally not a fan of Star Wars, even before the recent <laughs> even movies before. screwed everything up. I'm, even the original trilogy, I, I accept their place in history, but. <laughs> you know, I, I preferred other science fiction. I'm not a big fan of space opera, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, I've always yeah. liked down to earth sci fi, whether it's time travel or alien invasion or like yes. robots. The, the Terminator, for example, is and Robocop, they're my, my top uh science mm -hmm. fiction, in my opinion. <laughs> that's for me, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you're, you're gonna be excited if uh this is gonna make a cruise ship about aliens right yeah. exactly yeah <laughs> go on a cruise with xenomorphs running around <laughs> jumping on you <laughs> uh, eat, eating those uh, eggs <laughs> something will go out to you. What? yeah they i don't know some kind of um some kind of, i don't know a sushi or something and it's uh, <laughs> shaped like an egg yeah yeah, yeah maybe a pancake better actually yeah pancake. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, awesome. Yeah. So, so uh, how is it working with kids? So I know it's Disney is more more of kid, uh, kids. So, so there's a lot of kids running around every every day because it's uh, I I saw a lot of parks that it's very jam packed. But for a cruise ship, you are all in one place the whole let's say three days of the cruise. So. Right. How 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 is it? Uh, can you how is it with lots of kids? Yes, <laughs> it's Help. actually it's actually <laughs> no. It's uh, I find it really, you know, really amazing. Because mm -hmm. I I like working with kids, and I've been on a cruise where there's less kids. Like, like most of the Speaking time on, of a, which. Oh, on, a, on, a, on a regular cruise, we get like nine hundred to a thousand kids. No, and there there was a uh, there was. Yeah, nine hundred to a thousand kids, something like that. And then I've been on a cruise where where there was really less kids, like maybe six hundred. And it felt, you know, it felt different, kind of sad. Like there's something missing. I mean, that's six hundred kids. That's still a lot. It's a lot. Yes, yes, yes. So, <laughs> so, yeah. But then it felt different because, hey, like I'm I'm missing some kids. Yeah. It's not enough kids. Or maybe I just got used to seeing a thousand kids. <laughs> yeah i have a question so what's sure. the difference between because i've been to a lot of disney parks already so what's the difference what's the experience of uh, being in a disney park in in a disney cruise so what's the big difference in that do you have rides also inside those ships do you have uh what else because uh in arcades. The party, arcades or mm -hmm. uh, I, I know that uh, there's a lot of characters also in in those ships so what's the difference between in those two experiences um i think the right answer would be it's really different mm -hmm. you see the same thing but it's scaled mm -hmm. down to fit inside mm -hmm. a ship but then the experience would be totally different because mm -hmm. um first if you go on a cruise you'll be paying tons of cash okay compared to paying for a day ticket to go to a park mm -hmm. so yes. that's true. so with more money being you know mm -hmm. paid people are expecting better services Service, which yes. this cruise line is uh, really known for that's mm -hmm. why it's always on the top of the list, you know. Like mm -hmm. it's always uh, best for best cruise for families, mm -hmm. best cruise in the Caribbean. It's always there on top because it's always delivering um, above and beyond guest expectations. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. again, it's a uh, it's like the park. Everything scaled down. We have all those kinds of amenities. We have uh, really good fine dining. We have uh, arcades and stuff. 
we have um, play place we have, we have rides have right. we have oh. all the pools yeah yeah <laughs> and I imagine it's a lot more scary. intimate as well because yeah. you won't have as many people going to it compared to yes. the park yes yeah so, and experience is uh, custom it's customized for everyone oh, oh, cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, i really want to try it because uh, yeah i saw michael v's vlog and uh, i'm really interested in because like I hope after the pandemic, it's still I can now bring out my uh, kid to go to because he loves Donald Duck. Very yeah, while well, he's uh, <laughs> while he's still that little. Yes, I know because once he we kind of a teenager, and, uh, <laughs> oh, we, still, uh, we still get lots of teenagers because we have really? teenagers, uh, teenage um, spaces there as well. Really? <laughs> yeah, because. So um, yeah, when you say Disney, people think about um, kids enjoying kids, cartoons. Yeah. That's like yes. a first thing you will think about. But then mm -hmm. Disney is about family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even as an adult, like, you'd be thinking of your childhood. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, like before when they said it's about family, I was thinking about nuclear kind of family where you see mom, dad, and three kids. But then it's different when I, get, when I got there. I see like three aunts. Poor uncles, <laughs> grandpa, grandpa, uh, grandpa from this side, grandpa from that side. It's, it's like the whole clan. It's the whole clan. <laughs> yeah, it's a really, you know, overwhelming experience because um, I got. No, I, I want... no one's been born on a cruise ship, have they? <laughs> Is there? Uh, yeah, there, there were, there were instances. <laughs> All right. Mm. So. Are they are are they free for life in a Disney cruise ship or or like that? Because <laughs> I I don't know how they pay for it, but I see people going in and out of the cruise. Like I have this friend, she's mm. Japanese and she goes there for like three times a month. Wow! Twice twice a month. Twice a month. Twice a, month? Twice a, month? Twice a, month? a lot of money to waste. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where she gets it. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> uh, what's the ballpark figure for a, for let's say a three day, uh, three day cruise? Uh, for a three day cruise, um, it depends on which room you will get. Oh, okay. And which season you're booking your cruise. So, so what's what's the expensive season? In there? Christmas. Christmas Maritime season. Christmas. Oh, fourth okay. of fourth of July, fourth of July also <laughs> <laughs> makes so, sense. Uh, how about Memorial Day? Maybe Memorial Day is cheaper. <laughs> I suppose Valentine's Day would probably be just as expensive, I guess. Valentine's Day, uh, yeah, Valentine's Day transatlantic cruises, yes. Oh, it's 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 also expensive. Uh, yeah, Valentine's. the moment mm. you see more fireworks being you know flown out of the ship, that's that's like a Good sign. This, <laughs> right. this cruise is really expensive. <laughs> so less fireworks, much better, much cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, yeah. it's, um, it's not, I'm not going to say cheap, but it's less expensive. But then the less experience is still the same. So, okay. To be honest, the idea of fireworks on a ship, uh, it's a bit health and safety. Um, <laughs> are you sure about having fireworks on a ship? <laughs> Yeah, Titanic. well, this is Titanic we've been doing that one for 20 years now. <laughs> Sorry? We've been doing that for 20 years now. <laughs> if I was to step on there, you know, it would probably be, it would probably be that one occasion where an accident happens, yeah, and it wouldn't be me to cause it. <laughs> so I'm not taking chances. <laughs> yeah. So what's the, uh, here, uh, what's the cheapest, uh, room is there in there in the, you're pretty much uh, planning your holiday aren't you yes. yeah we're, and we're just yeah, no, him in you can. <laughs> so obvious uh, yes yeah, so, uh, i think the, the cheapest. i think your next guest would be best um next cruise is you know guy so you can you know start planning your cruise but yeah um <laughs> <laughs> for for uh for prices, it it varies depending on the season and the group type of room you're getting. Because we have the the cheapest one would be, um, the inside rooms. The inside mm -hmm. rooms would be the ones in the middle. Oh, without without, without the port without the portholes windows oh, okay. or without the balconies the verandas. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. It's just basically a room for you to keep your luggages there. Storage room, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh way. <wait. laughs> most of the time, people are just out there watching for watching um, the theater mm-hmm. and the movie movie areas, and then uh, mm-hmm. interacting with the other guests and characters. Okay. Nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, nice, oh, nice to know. Or just that. eating the whole day. <laughs> eating the whole day? <laughs> well, is the food uh, free in there or is she, or it's part of the package? All you can eat. Well, there's um there's part okay. of it that's inclusive, which is okay. part of what you paid for. Mm-hmm. And there will be areas where you need you need to pay extra. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the next question is, uh, how is it working with Mickey Mouse in the, in the shooting him with the kids? The... <laughs> is that a nice question, Adam? <laughs> <You're> not... Sorry, <laughs> no, I'm... it's just not... the way you worded it, shooting him. And I'm thinking, with what, a gun? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, man. <laughs> Take not photos. Allowed. <laughs> Take <laughs> photos with the... With Mickey Mouse, uh, so yeah, <laughs> Adam's laughing. <laughs> it's just the way. I'm, no, it's just how I'm picturing it. <laughs> again, because they've absorbed the Predator and Alien franchise, you know, no. it's only a matter and of time before you shoot. start bringing in action, <laughs> action cruises or something. Action cruises, yeah. <laughs> so that was it, uh, so. <laughs> yeah. It's good because um. As a photographer, you see lots of memories just be, you know, just looking through the lens. Mm-hmm. So basically, it's just that it's not just taking the picture, but you're just you're you're looking at the moment happening right before mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. So and it's um it's, it's really priceless once you look at the picture. Like the way I work now, the way I do production, I have to review all those pictures, and I, man, mm-hmm. I see all those kinds of different expressions from kids and it's just priceless yes i know i know and i saw my kid uh saw donald duck the first time i said it's so uh i i was uh teary-eyed because when i saw him oh it's Mm -hmm. donald duck like uh, it's just a guy in a in a suit but for him it's like wow (laughs) so so why would a duck be on a boat Oh, you just swim. <laughs> right, I'm, That's I'm for kids, floors Adam. The fun, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's very yeah. I know, the, I know, I know the feelings. All when you see those ex- mm. the expression of those kids. When you see your kid, yeah, um, you seeing all those expression. I know it's fulfilling that you're doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for four years, that's what you see as a photographer, and you see it every single day. Mm-hmm. Even but though no. it's very, um, it's it's happening at the same time of the day, same location, mm-hmm. but it's it's the uh, you see different kids. Different kids. Mm-hmm. It's not, and also, uh, are you still holding a, a camera now? Since you're more on the leadership part, so. No, um, okay. only when someone's sick or uh, there's an emergency, like uh, there's a VIP somewhere, and yeah. all their photographers are in the studios taking pictures. Mm-hmm. Someone has to do the job. Okay, <laughs> how many studios does uh, one ship have? Like, uh, on the small ships, we have four. Four studios. Mm-hmm. On one of the big ships, we have nine, and on the other, we have six. Wow, <laughs> nine stitches is a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that's, so that's six. That's sixteen people. <laughs> so yeah. the other seven would be shooting characters in different locations. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's happening simultaneously: studios and then character sets. Is it chaotic to to handle, or because I can't imagine uh, having a. Sh- simultaneously shooting all of this as a director or, uh, i'm gonna say mm-hmm. i could imagine it'd be like directing yeah it's direct, like if i'm directing uh it's very hard to uh to shoot simultaneously you mm. need you need a lot of uh assistant directors second unit directors and yeah, things like that yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. so how do you do it so because uh i know your job is be it's like 
a d- director, a film director like me, so in a different way. So, yeah. Right. Well, How for me, you... the key, the key would be proper training. Give them a really good foundation. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I need to make my job easier because mm-hmm. that's sixteen people shooting simultaneously. Yeah. So training them to do the job properly. Mm-hmm. Without causing any delays, problems, and stuff, teaching them how to, you know, to think, and not to be like a robot just pressing the button. Mm-hmm. That yeah, makes it, a difference for me. Makes my job easier. Makes the the whole production seamless. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. So, I now I feel that your job is being like uh, what what I'm doing. It's very hard. Like we were for you. It's always. Uh, it's always that like that every day, every day, every day. Yeah. So it's very hard. <laughs> yeah. And I commend you for that song. Uh, I mean, for me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, like just uh, coming up with this show, we're doing show every other week. And it's very already uh, taking a lot of uh, your mm-hmm. energy and time mm-hmm. just to, 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 to keep things going. Keep, keep keep things going. Keep the schedule. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. But for you, it's every day. Yeah. <laughs> in six six months in uh six, six months, months at a time. Year, and there's no uh no rest. <laughs> Seven days a week. Uh, wow. That's, well we uh, get to sleep ten hours. Good enough. Oh, ten hours. <laughs> 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 I think I like that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. yeah. Well, if you're if you're a new guy, you you'll be sleeping ten hours a day. Oh, but, but then the, uh, the more you the more you progress, mm. the more time you'll be spending in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have so, a bar? So, so, yeah, we have lots of bars there. So have you ever seen a? Sorry, I'm I'm being very unprofessional by joking a lot, but have you ever seen <laughs> one of the Mickey Mouse uh, guys or the Donald Duck guys just sitting there drinking? At the bar or something. Just no, fed up. Uh, no. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> They're keeping up appearances. Yeah. So, do you have any um, ambitions uh, uh, when with the um, with the cruises? Any like any uh, ambitions that you have lined up that you want to achieve? Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, every like how I planned it before. I want I wanted to step up every year. Yeah. So far, I'm doing I'm doing really good, and um, I'm still thinking if there's more opportunities outside my my department. Mm-hmm. You no, know, like the photography department is so one branch under the hotel department. Maybe I can go up there and have a try try a different role. Right. If I can handle it, then I'd like to stay there, learn it, and then move on again. Very nice. Oh, good luck when the time comes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was telling uh, so because uh, I I want to try it also <laughs> to be in a cruise ship because I know it's a lot different and I saw in their website they have this uh, stage manager like coming yeah. up directing all those uh, mm-hmm. those shows. So yeah, yeah, Broadway yeah. ones. So it's. Uh, I think I'm going to back down because it's gonna be every day. It's that different. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to have a show every day, and you it might to... be it might be different. Maybe give yourself um, some time to adjust. But yeah. once you get used to it, it'll be like yeah. second nature to you. Okay. <laughs> like just just like the back of your hand. Okay, so yeah, I saw their roster, Adam, and so there's a, there's a hotel department and there's a there's a entertainment department. entertainment department. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in the entertainment department, there's the stage managers, there's the editors, there's the what do you call this uh, equipment handlers. Uh, mm-hmm. So I I saw everything when I was talking to Saul. I, right. I researched. So said I I said, oh, it's very uh, it's very it's gonna be nice uh, like that. But when I heard that's gonna be seven days a week for six months, <laughs> what's it? <laughs> 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 I said, wow, that's that's too. 
That's, uh, it, it, it might sound crazy, but then when you're working <laughs> with one of the best entertainment companies in the world, and yeah, you see yeah. characters here and there, you know, yeah. it's a good way of, um, let me say, it's a good distraction. Mm-hmm. You Makes get it worse distracted, more, yeah. Yeah, and you forget, oh shit, I've been working for five hours straight now, and I didn't even realize it. So you're, it means that you're enjoying, you're having fun doing it. Mm-hmm. That's the important yeah, it, thing, really. Yeah. Mo- most, of, most of the cast members there enjoy, even um, even the grumpy ones I've met. Like new hires that are grumpy, never mm-hmm. knew a single character. Mm-hmm. After they finish a contract, they just keep on coming back. It's like a ship virus that you get there. Oh, okay. Uh, they, they, always, they always end up loving the job and the, the culture. Okay, mm, nice to know. I might. Delight. Did any of those uh, grumpy people actually play the dwarf? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so other than taking... maybe the sleepy ones. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I always, I'm always missing a, a guy. You know? Yeah. Where's the sleepy guy? <laughs> maybe they're with Snow White or something. <laughs> So uh, other than shooting, because uh, I saw uh, here, I'm going to show uh, a v- uh, photos. Uh, have you been shooting some? Uh, I know there's a lot of honeymoon also in Disney cruises. Like, uh, is there any honeymoon doing their honeymoon in a Disney cruise, or or just a lot of families? There are there are lots there are lots of families and there's always a wedding happening as well, especially if you're cruising the Bahamas. It's mm-hmm. one of the top destinations for weddings and we call it the fairy tale weddings. Fairy tale weddings. Yeah. We we do it back to back back to back weddings. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to uh, show more of your works. So and can you uh, help us with the uh, this, the writing? Yes. Uh, so some uh, not not this one. So you sent me some photos like this one. Are there? We shot this in in the what do you call this? When while you were on board of on the ship, this one. These photos. Um, most of them are just out in Florida. Oh, okay. In different so, locations. Different. Um, nice. <laughs> so it's very nice to to work with a multicultural company. Also, mm-hmm. you can you can what do you call this interact with them like, like you said you yeah learn their culture learn a lot yeah learn the <laughs> culture yes so, and, and then you one. widen your curse dictionary yes and widen your scope so yeah there's a lot of wedding photos here <laughs> but this is uh this is the way that's on the ship because mm-hmm. we have weddings on the ship and on the on a private island like this right one. oh cool wow. Wow. <laughs> very, very intimate. And your photos are very good. Very pretty. And I also yeah, less saw speechless. this one. I like this one. Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> no surprise there. <laughs> that one's done in the inside the Millennium Falcon. You got married to, you got married <laughs> to that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You have plenty of uh, very nice That's variety of um, subjects and whatnot. Yes. <clears throat> but are there any? Um, do you have any like um, subjects or themes that you would want to take photos of that you haven't so far? Um, right now, I cannot really think of any because um, I haven't held the camera since um, since March. So it right. kind of drew my attention away from photography. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe maybe just from the, from the big cameras, but I'm still taking pictures with the phone. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe nothing big like a whole produ- full production, but I still take pictures. 
Of what, um, nature just, or something? Just, just spontaneous Scenery. things. Okay. <laughs> yeah, things happening around me. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I'm no... <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> his motorcycle. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> Eating foods, <laughs> going out. <laughs> so yeah, well, our interest also you're doing motorcycle uh, every now and then. Yeah, I saw his photos. It's uh, riding. I, I I miss I miss riding outside. <laughs> you know, sometimes he he will call me or text me. Hey, Rob, there's a, there's a ride. Do you wanna come? Mm-hmm. Do you wanna join? <laughs> Uh, I really no. want to, but I can't. <laughs> no, <laughs> we understand you. Yeah, I really, I, I really love to go out again, but I can't. <laughs> Just give maybe, it a couple more maybe months. Soon. <laughs> yeah. Maybe soon, yes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, any uh, what do you call this? Salt? Do you want to to uh, what do you call this? Um, What's your to all those social media? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> so those uh, uh, aspiring to be a photographer. What's your message for them? Um, if you want to become a photographer, you might want to start brushing up on your skills because working on ship is different. It's a fast-paced kind of um, life out there. I mean, in there. And uh, we re- we really don't have time for you know face to f- uh, personal trainings. We really don't have time to spend on you know people who really don't know how to handle a camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, especially if you're working on Disney, you might want to be the kind of person who's bubbly, really good with mm-hmm. families, you know, mm-hmm. because um, we are focusing more on customer service your interaction with people because you can always have um, a mediocre kind of photo and sell it for a good price just because the guests will always remember how you interacted with them how you made them feel special how you went above and beyond their expectation and i've seen um, other photographers too that are really good with their pictures but it never made a connection with the guests so the guests were like meh I'm not oh, going to pay a thousand bucks for that picture, something like that. I can imagine also to get used to the environment of you know having to do so much on a cruise for so many days. Mm-hmm. Really, the best place to start would be to do live events or weddings because at least that's one day only, and it's in mm-hmm. you know like you know the next city or whatever. Because obviously, if you get used to that kind of environment, because yeah. otherwise, if you go on a cruise ship and you've got to do it seven days a week. Yes, mm-hmm. you'll crash and burn. You'll, uh, you'll... <laughs> especially <laughs> um, weddings on a ship. It happens really quick. Yeah, uh, it happens uh, like a back to back. Maybe every other day, it's gonna there's gonna be a wedding, two wow. or three couples a day. <laughs> so you need yeah. you need to shoot the whole thing in an hour or two, compared to yeah, shooting can... it on land where you spend six oh. eight hours. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've done a bit of, not not photography as such, but I've worked as a videographer on weddings, and mm-hmm. they're not for me personally. So I, <laughs> I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do what you're doing on a cruise. So um, I uh, yeah. I admire your work, but I could never do it myself. Yeah. I, I just uh, it just occurred to me while I was talking to you, Saul. Uh, it, it, it's. Uh, it's a different ball game. You know, yeah. <laughs> what we're, we're doing. I thought it's the same, but when you said it's it's, it's fast paced and it's every day. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, basically, it's, it's the same uh, same equipment and same um, knowledge that you need to apply mm-hmm. and theories when it comes to photography. But then you need to always have a plan and you need to have a mm. proper workflow to make it mm-hmm. seamless. Yeah, it's true, it's true. You need to be consistent as well. Because if you're not consistent, that's when you, you get bumps in your workflow. Yeah. That's yeah. where the start uh the hassle starts coming in. <laughs> yeah. And it, it delays your work. Yes. <laughs> so Saul, so, uh do you have any uh social media page that uh, people can so see your work? 
Um, yeah, they can um, either look up my Facebook page, which is Soil Monster Photography. Mm-hmm. And um, let me just check which one I'm using for. And I also have the Instagram account, which is Solo Monster. Solo Double Monster. R. Mm. Yeah, there's two R in the end. Because of <laughs> the one with single R is already taken. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So, thank you very much for spending your Sunday night with us. So, uh, we learned a lot of things uh, when it comes to cruise ship and being a photographer in a cruise ship. So thank you so much for uh, your time. <laughs> yeah, it's been Hope a pleasure you. having you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. It's a Hope pleasure we can, too. Uh, I can visit you in your workplace soon. <laughs> just, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> and let so, me know yeah. when they do uh, Xenomorph themed cruises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adam will be very interesting. Maybe, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if we have enough people making enough noise, then Disney will yeah. take notice. <laughs> Definitely. Make a movement, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Alien cruise ships. Because <laughs> if, if there's a demand, then why not? Yeah. yeah. yeah if it turns out just be me on my own, then it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Busy with other things, but yeah, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> well, if, if you're alone, you can always charter the cruise. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much, uh, uh, Sol. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Mm. All right, and have a good Christmas as well. Yeah. You too. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Stay, oh, stay you. safe. Thank you. Can you? Bye. There you go, Adam. <laughs> so when Bye. do you plan to go again? On your holiday, <laughs> pretty. Yeah. That was so blatantly obvious. <laughs> Just planning it, you're getting it. All, I'm surprised you didn't have a notepad and was writing all of this down. Thank God this show's recorded. You can rewatch it, can't you? Well, maybe after the vaccine. Uh, yeah, after the vaccine, because I uh, you know there's a lot of uh, uh, cruise ships are still grounded because of yeah. this uh, situation we're having. <laughs> Well, at the very beginning of the the outbreak, a lot of cruises in I think it was in Japan uh, yes. that were using them as um, uh, sanctuaries for for yes. um, people that were positive, if I remember yes. rightly. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, so I don't know uh, if I don't know if Disney Cruises was doing that as well. <laughs> I think because uh, I remember Seoul went home back in May, I think. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> They were still doing, they were still doing cruising cruises, even though there okay. was a lockdown. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but I am really interested in having yes. because <laughs> I have uh, I haven't uh, I haven't tried anything like uh, like going to cruise, uh, and it's gonna, I know it's gonna be. Uh, a different experience than going yeah. to a new country in a, going in a tour. So a cruise is different. Yes. Have yeah. I mean, I've, sorry. Uh, have you been in a cruise? I, I was going to say. I mean, I don't know if you'd call it a cruise, but you know, I've been on. I suppose it. I suppose it was a cruise, really, but it was only for like a couple of hours. A cruise along the the Bay Area when I was living in San Francisco you know oh, okay. traveling under the golden gate bridge and things like that but oh. that's not not the same kind of cruise as obviously what solomon's doing so there was yeah. no sleeping or anything like that so yeah. that's like the closest but i suppose really that's just a boat trip but, yeah. but i've never done a proper cruise no i mean i'd like to mm. when i don't know when that will be but you know it's not top priority right now but i'm sure in the future i'll do it <laughs> maybe when you get married <laughs> that, that ain't happening <laughs> I'll just go for a vacation or something. <laughs> so yeah, it was a good one hour. Uh, it was a good episode uh, when we're learning new things. And, and yeah, uh, I was surprised that uh, they're doing a fast pace. Uh, we're, we're doing the same. We're yeah. pre prod, prod, and post. But for them, it's going to be every day. So. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I uh, I admire Saul for that because uh, for us it's already 
Uh, sometimes it's very uh, hard, but for them, it's like doing I mean, this every day. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of what you told me about Filipino television productions, how you start off filming the thing in the morning and you have to quickly edit it and get it transmitted by the evening. It sounds I, in a way similar to that. Yes, uh, it's, uh, we we do it like that. But but we have, even though it's like that, we have, uh, we're going to shoot this uh Today, the whole day. Then yeah. tomorrow is gonna be our, our rest off, day. Rest day. Then okay. It's like it's like that every other day. Right. So uh, it's a lot different from 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 what what they're doing in from the with the Disney Cruise. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> nice I'm one. Also, I'm also a big fan of Disney. I know, not the yeah. big. Uh, I'm a uh, big fan of Star Wars, so that's why I'm really <clears throat> excited to <laughs> try. <Yeah. laughs> so yeah, maybe yeah, maybe when when aliens and predators versus predators when they come up, some honcho in Disney will come up with that. Maybe that's a good well, thing. There's money to be made. Why not? Because yeah. they've still got a big following. Yes, I know aliens <laughs> and predators is a lot of following, but it's not kid friendly, you know. <laughs> no, exactly. Be... That that's what people are a bit worried about because I know there's, I don't know if it's been made official, but I've seen some artwork of like predators holding a Iron Man helmet or something like on the oh, top really? of a building. I don't know if that was fan art though, but I need to double check. But I think there's plans to do crossovers of. Well, actually, no, they've done crossovers in comics anyway. You know, there's been you know batman versus predator and superman versus alien so it's been done before i know that's dc but still mm. besides the point mm. but i'm sure it's a, only a matter of time before disney you know invest in uh, yes. I, I mean i think they're already planning reboots or mm. movies at least already but mm. i don't know i'm not looking into it any i'm just waiting until they actually officially announce it <laughs> also i'm also excited to see uh what they call the simpsons if in, in, oh, I forgot in, about in, the Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, Simpsons are also now part of Disney. So if yeah, you put them in a Disney park or a Disney cruise, that's gonna be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about 20th Century Fox's cartoon lineup because yeah. obviously they've got Family Guy, Futurama, oh, yeah, yes. and um, I don't know if you know of King of the Hill, but that's a yeah, personal favorite of mine. Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> that's been that hasn't been yeah. on for over 10 years though but if they bring that back yeah i would definitely go on a on a uh, king of the hill cruise liner <laughs> that was one of my favorites uh, yeah maybe disney is listening somewhere there yeah <laughs> maybe you can do like that maybe in the future <laughs> or if they start absorbing other properties i don't know if they do a if they take the if they absorb Paramount and they get the rights to Transformers or something, you can have a Transformer <laughs> cruise liner or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, it's uh, it's a lot of uh, what do you call this um, potential. Potential. <laughs> so, so who's our uh, our uh, for? I next guess week? for next week. Yeah. Yeah, it's my turn again uh, to bring in somebody. Um, yes. And like with Alex from last week, uh, our next guest will be someone that I knew in San Francisco, I studied with a guy called Oscar, who was also focusing on screenwriting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we worked together on a few films and yeah, he's, he's, he was another one of my favorite, uh, um, fellow students to hang out with. He was, he was awesome, hilarious, <laughs> but, um, he, uh, I won't give away too much about what he does now, but, um, all I'll say is, um, have a big appetite because he's got a lot of, Oh. He does a lot of cooking and he's um he's got there's a lot of good stuff. I've not tried his food, unfortunately, but um <laughs> the photos he's got are really good. So he's um it's gonna be a very food themed episode. Oh, <laughs> nice. It's, so we need to eat first before watching it because <laughs> Yeah, it's um it's basically it's it's Puerto Rican food, basically, because he's he is Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. But he lives in New York. Okay. So um good news for the audience out there our time zone our time slot is going to be the same we're not going to go an hour later because he's in new york time new york yeah, yeah. which should be about 7 a.m for him yeah. so he'll be awake by then okay so yeah uh 
so watch us for ne- next week. We have Oscar, so uh, it's gonna be the same time, eight thirty Sunday, eight thirty Philippine time, and twelve thirty uh, p.m. over here 30. in the UK. UK, so yeah, so watch seven thirty, I should say, in New York. <laughs> yes. So yeah, uh, always uh, please uh, for our Facebook page, please like. Uh, like our page and follow us share and subscribe share, and subscribe for youtube please uh, share and subscribe so to give you more of uh uh pinoy chap okay so any last words Adam? <laughs> <laughs> nothing really other than um thanks everyone for watching and um trying to think yeah we've got a few more guests lined up so we're gonna we've got at least lined up until february Okay. Uh, so we've got plenty more to come so yes. <laughs> it won't be ending anytime soon <laughs> yes so yeah uh, thank you for watching uh, catch us next time next week have a good week everybody bye